Hello, Jess Too Good here, and this is a Lego Star Wars set I think I've been waiting for the most this summer. This is a Duel on Mandalore Summer 2021 Lego Star Wars set that releases August 1st with 147 pieces and two minifigures. Retails for $20 in the United States, where I got this a little bit early for my friend Minifigure Dreams. Go check them out. So the Darth Maul minifigure is the only exclusive minifigure of the set. Not that the Soka inclusion is bad, we'll get to that later. I think it's a fantastic figure to include. This one is exclusive because of the torso and leg printing. The face print is the Darth Maul face print that they used in a book, I think last year. And then this head attachment is that same design as well. But getting the design of the torso and legs, those translate really well. I like the mechanical legs at the bottom. They have a nice shine to it. And you have your back torso printing. So this set is the cheapest way to get Ahsoka Tano, which is freaking awesome. But with the lightsabers removed, this Ahsoka minifigure is the same one from the AAT set, and that design is still a very awesome Ahsoka. If anything, the only problem would be that the headdress is a bit too long. It wasn't originally made for Ahsoka, it was made for Shaka T, I think, in the T6 Jedi shuttle from 2011. I hope I got that info right. And the design of the face print, torso, legs, and that headdress are all the same from the AAT. The headdress is so hard to remove because there's this rubber piece, so give me a sec. <laughs> Damn, I knew I had to cut. But yeah, it's a big rubber piece. And then for her alternate face, this is a much more angry look. And here are the two builds of the set. So for the throne itself, this is a pretty good representation of that area, but it's just a very small section of that throne section. We just have the wall at the back, which does have that nice window. Now the window uses two stickers, which are very annoying to put on, but I do like getting those pieces in the translucent orange. The window itself is a play feature where you can make a character like Darth Maul, because that's what happens in the show, break through that glass right there. And that's pretty fun. Uh, at some points though, it does feel a little bit flimsy. It's a mechanism where if you move it around a bit, it's just gonna fall anyways. Other than that, uh, one other thing that kind of annoys me with this is these pieces right here. In the show, it's a translucent orange like this. In here, it's just a flat orange, so that kind of sucks. I get why they didn't make it a translucent orange because it would cost more to make because we haven't gotten that piece in translucent orange before. And then at the throne, not only do you have a sticker at the front, but the secret inside where you could slide out this part and there's a blaster hidden in there, so that's pretty cool. And of course, the throne itself is a pretty good representation of the build in the show, if not a little bit too big in this Lego set. And then the set includes a Mandalorian vault, which I have a nitpick that is such a just too good nitpick, but I've done this before. This is not accurate to Lego. Why do they look like humans and not Lego minifigures? That pisses me off. That's no, not a big deal. I just, whenever something like that happens, it annoys me in a fun way. <laughs> Cause yeah, I, I love the artwork here. Like this looks fantastic, but they should be Lego minifigures, not humanoids, come on. <laughs> but anyways, at the side over here, we have another sticker. This one's a lot more annoying cause you gotta fit that at just the right positioning in the middle there. I always hate stickers like that. But anyways, opening this up, you can fit Maul inside there. <laughs> <laughs> I love that you can see his eyes just popping off. I mean, this could come off as cool to some people, but it just comes off as more funny to me. <laughs> but yeah, this is an adorable build. I think I like this better than the throne build TBH. But that's it for the builds of the set. Let's take a look at the packaging and the final verdict. So we have the $20 Star Wars box size, which is a $15 box size for other themes. For the instructions, interestingly enough, they advertise just the Clone Wars stuff. And that's kind of cool. Like it's, it's not the whole summer wave they have going on here. Or I guess they also advertise the Bad Batch as well. But they at the back, they have an advertisement that features the summer stuff. And then that one has the Mandalorian stuff. So it's, it's a weird mishmash they have going on here. And then the Skywalker saga still doesn't have a release date. So overall, this is a fantastic deal of a LEGO Star Wars set. And I gotta say, of a LEGO Star Wars set. Because even as it stands, it feels like it's $5 more than it should be. This should be $15, but whatever. At the $20 price, I still think this is a great deal where you get two very hard to find, well, I wouldn't say very hard to find, but hard to find in Darth Maul's an exclusive minifigure. And then the throne build, I don't think is perfect, but I like how it came out. I like the glass at the back. 
I like the little secret blaster. I do kind of wish they expanded upon that so it does feel more like a $20 set, but it's not a big deal. I love the vault though. I think the vault was excellently crafted and <laughs> so you can see ball peeking out. The sticker at the front is that annoyance, but I don't think that's a problem because I think many people would prefer it to be more accurate to the show like this than minifigure centric, which so I get why they did that. It's not a problem at all. But uh, with all things considered, I think for $20, this is one of the best Lego Star Wars deals on the market now. But when you compare it to other Lego themes, is it the best $20 set deal? No, because as it stands, it still feels a little bit undercooked in its build. Um, but I would give this set an 8 out of 10. I still highly recommend it. Love what they did here. I love getting these $20 Star Wars sets. I remember they did like the Duan Mustafar, which was fantastic. And then they did the, the well, before that, they did the Star Tooler base one, I think. That was first. And those are all great deals. And this is another one in that line. But I do feel like the build of this one's worse than those. I feel like the minifigures of this one is better than those. Take that as you may. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. If you agree or disagree, subscribe for more new, yeah, LEGO Star Wars reviews. Because I gotta get the slave one. I might do a review of that uh, $40 set, but probably not. I'll see you guys later. Peace out. Bye.